Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. As usual, a big thanks to all these new subscribers and everyone for their continuing support. It really is appreciated, it really does keep on motivating me to continue making more content for you. As usual though, anyone new, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment and turn on the notifications so you can get any videos uh, as quick as possible. And like I say, let's get on with the video. Today's video is all about why relations with the king is so important and how it's critical to your continuing expansion in the game. Just for context, I have just taken the castle there, Sunusgud castle, and I'm awaiting a request from the king for me to have the castle as a prize for me taking it by myself. But here we're going to find out why having good relations with the king is so important, especially in a time when you've done all the hard work to actually gain a castle for it to be decided obviously by the king hopefully lords should be backing you to take it as realistically lords opinions usually are if you've taken the castle it's finders keepers so they do majority of them will support you for you doing the hard work to take that castle so you should be rewarded with said castle but this does not mean you're guaranteed on a side note relating to lords and kings, uh, one of my subscribers, Griffin Jones, pointed out that one of the best ways to increase relations with your lord or a king is by moving around enemy castles, sneaking into these castles and breaking lords or kings free. This gives a huge, huge boost to your relations and can go a long way to cementing a good friendship with a lord or a king. So thank you very much, buddy. Thank you for, for reminding me of this piece of information. It is something I've done a long time in the past, but I don't always do it uh, as the, it is quite risky. But thank you very much for letting me know uh, again about that relation boost. So as you've just seen the note there before from the king, he approves of the fact that I took the castle, but he disapproves of me keeping the castle and he has just then given it to another lord. I usually then try and sit around and wait for the new lord to turn up to garrison said castle because the risk is if you garrison the castle with your own troops before actually being granted the castle, you will lose them troops. Uh, I have done that a long, long time in the past, lost all my troops from that, so it's not always worth it. Um, and at this point, because I know that other lords are backing me to have that castle and the king hasn't granted it, it really does come down to the fact that the king does not like me, we have a poor relations, and this is something I need to be trying to recover for the future. Uh, so, as I know this is going to be the case, and I'm, there's several war parties from the two different kingdoms, I decide, well, the lord who's meant to be garrisoning the castle isn't coming, so I'm not going to get stuck there to have a complete army wiped out again and for me to restart and lose all my troops. So I'm going to abandon that castle, let them take it, and then my plan is, because then they will garrison it again, they will garrison it with less troops, less experienced troops, and then they will go off to go and do whatever they want to do. And whilst they do that, I'm going to try and recruit and come back to that castle and try and take that castle at ease. And once again, try and request this castle for my personal territory. This is something I have done in the past, and this is something I'm going to have to do uh, with King Ragnar until he allows me to actually have my own territory and gain a castle. I'm going to have to continue doing this until he gets the picture. It is going to give me a good renown boost. And also, I do get a bit of money from capturing these castles. So, I am going to exploit the fact of if he just keeps on rejecting me, I'm just going to keep on getting a bit of a financial boost and a renown boost and experience with my troops. But at the same time, it's still a risky business, me trying to take a castle, trying to hold a castle, waiting for either a new lord to take it or for me to be able to take it. Because what I'm going to have to do with such a small party, because I've lost troops from battles, I'm going to have to literally unload every single troop I have, rush back into my own territory, recruit new troops, get them trained up again, and then rush back again to garrison it with more troops, and then rush back again and recruit more. So it's a big cycle, but at the same time, I am really going to have to focus on getting my relation with the king much better. Otherwise, this is going to continually happen. I'm not going to be granted any thieves. I'm not going to get granted any castles I ask for. I'm not going to be granted any towns I asked for. Um, so, really, even if uh, a lord becomes done for treason and, you know, his lands are up for grabs, 
the chance that I will actually be recognized to take over that territory is very, very slim. Uh, I don't usually have this much of a problem, but I feel like King Ragnar has uh, that type of character that he really doesn't like it if he's not friends with you. And the likelihood of him actually giving you, you know, territory on a whim is very small. So it is very important to have a good relation with the king. So I'm going to shut up now. Uh, the rest of the video here is a lot of good battles here that we're in the area of just gaining more battles, getting more renown, trying to help as many lords out as possible, gain relations via that way. Uh, we do need to go and do some recruiting and I'm really, I'm just waiting for them to take the castle and I'm going to go on a recruitment drive again and try and take the castle back again. So I am going to shut up now. So please do enjoy the rest of the content. If you have made it this far, make sure to please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. It really is appreciated. It means the world to me. So thank you very much. I'll shut up for the rest of the video.
If you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. It is much appreciated. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Put any opinions down below, any questions whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching the content. Turn on the notifications so that you can get to future content much quicker than uh, trying to wait for it or search for it or wait for a little ping. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.